Oh, hi, welcome to the shop. Hey guys, welcome to our tool shed. This is where we house all of our tools that we used to demo our bus. We just finished tearing apart the interior of our bus, which included taking out the seats, taking out the floor, the walls, and the roof. And in today's video, we're gonna show you all those tools so that you know what you need to get to demo your bus. So before we go through any of the tools, we wanna to talk about safety first. The things we use most often are our safety gloves. We wear them all the time. Adam made the mistake of not wearing them one time and he cut his hand. And not bad, don't worry. <laughs> just a little thing, but like, just don't make that mistake. Wear gloves. All the time. Protect your hands. Yes. You need them. Number two, safety glasses. We wear these all the time as well. You never want anything in your eyes. That's just not fun. <laughs> Number three, earplugs. We got a big pack of them because we go through them quite fast. Um, we wear them every time we're grinding or doing anything loud, really. And I don't know if I'm yelling because I can't hear myself. We also have knee pads for when we're working on the ground and need to kneel on the ground. And we also have a mask for when we're grinding the rust and there's, you know, particles in the air. You don't want to breathe that in. So we have a mask. Safety activated. And the last thing, fire extinguisher. You're going to be cutting, making sparks. Uh, you don't want to burn your bus down, so just have one of these close by. Yep, it's just a good idea to have on hand. I'm gonna take that bell and I'm gonna shove it up his ass. So when you first get your bus, the obvious thing to do is to take out the seats. And the most important tool to do that is going to be a grinder. If you're looking for a grinder, I recommend a corded grinder, it's not a cordless. We went with cordless grinders and we've gone through a lot of batteries yeah it actually slowed us down a lot we would have to wait for batteries to charge constantly went through all the chargers yesterday and so we had to stop if you do end up getting a cordless grinder don't go with the cheapest in that brand's lineup uh, we did and this is our fourth grinder we've <laughs> melted three and so we have now gone with a brushless version. It's uh, it's a bit more expensive, but this runs a lot better, especially if you're cutting and grinding a lot. This can handle it. This, it's supposed to handle it, but we melted three. So brand doesn't matter. Um, we have Milwaukee. Just stick with a tool lineup. Don't have you know a grinder from DeWalt and then have other tools from Milwaukee. If you keep it within one system, you're gonna save a lot of money on batteries and chargers. So just kind of keep it within one system. To remove the seats, we cut off the bolts with a cutting disc, AKA a danger wheel, that's what I call them. And then we went in with our pry bar and just pried up the head of the bolt. Got it. The next thing you're gonna need to pull apart pretty much anything is a basic tool kit. From our kit, we're using half inch sockets. I'm using extension and I'm using a half inch wrench. On the wall side, you will find a bunch of these and the best way to take them out is to put a wrench underneath it, sock it on top and take them apart. It's a little bit difficult to do it like this though. Once we got all the seats out, we had to punch through all the bolts that we cut the heads off. So we use this punch tool and this mallet. So after we took all the seats out of the bus, we started taking out the roof. And the roof is held together by a bunch of screws. So to take all those out, we needed our impact driver. And on our impact driver, we have our Robinson bit. I recommend buying one of these kits. Um, you're going to need two different sizes of Robinson and probably two sizes of Phillips, so star and square bits. That is primarily what our bus was built out of. I bet you think you can get by with one of these and I'll show you why you can't. Because you're up against this. This is about 20 pounds of screws. <laughs> don't want to do this by hand. So if you're going to remove your windows in your bus, I recommend that you drill out the rivets that hold in the walls. If you're not going to remove the windows, you might want to use your grinder and just cut at the bottom of the windows to get the walls off. So we've got the roof and the walls out. 
The next thing we did was take out the floors. Now the floors are made up of a rubber mat on top of a plywood floor that's on top of the steel body of the bus. Now the floor is built in a way that is not meant to come out. So we took the method of using a circular saw, cutting it into pieces, mm -hmm. and then with different assortment of bars, forcefully ripping it out. So we used this bar with a mallet to hammer under the, the plywood and ripping it up. And then when we needed a little extra force, we got this giant bar that uh, came in for the assist. These tools are courtesy of Randy. What tools? All my tools. All these tools. Yep. This is Randy's. Any nails that are seized and you can't get out with your impact driver, we use the end of this pry bar to rip out those nails. So throughout your bus, there's going to be some screws that have junk in them. Uh, a lot of these screws are old and on the floor. So we used a pick and we were able to uh, clean out the dirt so we can get the bit in correctly and screw them out. It's much easier to do that than to strip all of the screws and then have to rip them out or drill them out later. Another thing that came in handy was our X-Acto knife to cut any pieces of the rubber that we didn't cut with the circular saw. So when we're pulling up any pieces of the floor, we just use this to cut off the rubber. So when we took off the sheet metal off the roof, there was insulation behind it. They used spray adhesive and glued the insulation to the roof. And so the insulation didn't come up very nice. So we used this little brush, metal wire brush, and we just kind of scraped off what was still stuck on the roof. Once you have all that done, you'll have a bare skeleton. The floor will be quite rusty usually because water can get in between the subfloor and the metal floor. So we used a different assortment of different grinding tools. Um, this is a danger wheel. We use this to cut out parts of the floor that were so rotten that we wanted to replace them. This is a flappy disc. This is probably the most aggressive way to take off surface rust. This one's a little bit more aggressive. It really gets into those deep rusty spots because the rust creates a lot of dimples and pores. And then this wire brush gets into the, all the cracks like around the wheel well areas and around the walls. And again, into those dimple porous spots of the rust. So we understand every bus is built differently. <clears throat> I'm built different. But I hope this video helps you in understanding how our bus is built. Maybe it'll help you for your bus. Our bus is a 2006 International CE300. These tools are more specific to our bus model. Obviously, if you have a different brand of bus, you might come into different circumstances and need different tools but this video kind of covers the basis of what we needed. And I think that most of the things we did are pretty general. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and leave us a comment. They know how to use the platform. <laughs>